Hi everybody, this is the Charge Point Home Flex. This unit here can be set for 16 amps all the way up to 50 amps. Uh, my version is actually hardwired. You can have these put onto a plug with a 14, NEMA 1450 plug. Um, but to get the most amperage out of them, you need to be hardwired. Um, if you're comfortable doing it yourself, fine, but I had an electrician do mine. Um, it has a standard J1772 plug, which is typical of all EVs. I've had this unit for about a year now, and the um, nice thing about it is it's programmable, hooks to your Wi-Fi. You can monitor your car, how it's charging, where your char state of charge is at. Um, it doesn't tell you a state of charge, but it tells you how much kilowatts you put into your vehicle. So with that, this also has peak rate timing to where you can set it to ignore certain times of the day. So when you plug your car in, it won't charge until it hits that timer. Um, I've set that up now just as a demonstration. So when I plug my car in, you'll see it will not start charging. Now, nice thing about these units is you can bypass that timer. That way you don't have to keep turning the timer on and off and forgetting. To bypass the timer, you just simply plug this charger into your car, unplug it, and plug it in again. Once you plug it in the second time, it will bypass the charge timer and uh, start charging your car. I'll demonstrate that for you right now. Okay, of course, lovely Michigan weather we got going on here. Um, so here I'm plugging the car in, as you can see beeps but the lights on the dash did not start charging so I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in and there you can see my car is charging so that's one easy way that you can easily bypass your charge timer if you need that charge immediately and you can't wait till 7 p.m. or whenever your off peak hours is you can bypass that and give yourself a little charge to do whatever you got to do. All right, let's look at the charge point app real quick. Um, when it comes up, you pretty much come up to your home station if your vehicle is plugged in. Uh, my daughter's car was plugged into this charger. And if you want to see the details, you can just click on the charging complete at the bottom. And it'll show you it's charging now. Her car's been on the charger for 46 hours. She hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, the two blips is her climate control kicking on every morning. Um, but you see 10.62 kilowatts added, 39 miles of range. In this app, click on the top left. You can go into your account features. You have your profile. And it has all your information here. You can change your, pay you can change your payment method, change your password, blah, blah, blah. If you have RFID cards, I have three of them because we have three plug-in vehicles. They can they'll all be listed here. My EV. Um, you can have all three of your EVs listed. Notifications. Set how what you want notified, how you want it. You can even do text messages or emails. Um, Connections and stuff is just showing my connection to uh, my power company to get a decent rate. Now let's go look at, you know, you can go into your uh, charging activity. And that'll show you here, you can look at cost. Uh, public chargers, I've spent $21. And home, I've spent 30 but if we look at the energy, I've had 512 kilowatt hours in public, 203 at home. The reason why the kilowatt is so high and the cost is so low is I have free charging at my employer. And you can see here, there's like 105 miles added, 28 kilowatts that I added for free. 
and I have even some that are more impressive than that. Here's one where I added 58 kilowatts uh, at work, and it was all free of charge. So if you have charging you can do it in your company for free, you'd save yourself a lot of money in fuel. All right, so moving on, you have the home charger. This will show your status right now. It says charging complete, and it shows the plug is missing from the center there, which means the car is plugged in. Now from here, you can go to schedule. And if you turn the schedule on, you can ch set this to where it charges on off-peak hours only. Uh, right now, we'll turn it off because the peak hour rates, summer peak hour rates are over, um, depending on what your power company does. You might want to set that. That way you can avoid being charged. Uh, you have reminders to plug in. Uh, 9 p.m. That way, in case my daughter forgets to plug her car in, um, she needs that charge for the next day. We get a nice little reminder that, hey, your car's not plugged in. And then settings. Settings, you know, you can, this is where you can set up the Wi-Fi. You can reboot the charger, ch change it back to factory settings. So, really straightforward. And let's see, and then you just have help and about, which I almost never go into, but that's pretty much the app in a nutshell.